Okay, let's have a look at this slide out here. This is the lounge room slide out. You're going to find the couch and the dining table and chairs in this slide out. It comes in for travelling right next to the bench here and obviously it goes out when you get to the place that you want to camp. The couch is comfortable, very supportive. No problem to sit on there. And if you want to need an extra bed, you can just remove the cushions and underneath you've got a proper pull out hide a bed. The slide out's also well equipped with overhead cupboards, a lot of space through there. The dining chairs, they are sitting in the corner here just like you'd find in a house. Once again, I, I know I keep saying it, but I really want you to get the idea that the fifth wheeler is more like a house than a caravan. These particular dining chairs in this model, they clip in for safe travel. They don't rock around when you're driving down the road. They've just got this simple wooden cleat here that the chair clips into. While we're in this slide out area and next to the dining table, I want to make a special point of showing you this door that we've installed. Yes, it's a requirement in Australia to have a door in the left side of every fifth wheeler. So we install that. Now, what we try to do is make it unobtrusive as possible, but still legal. So you'll see we've reinstated the window furniture around there. It still looks really good, but it's a functioning door. If you want to get the cross ventilation, you can open that and get it going through. Robin and I found on our trip that was really handy. Up north in the hot weather, you might not have electricity, so you can't run the air conditioner. Getting a cross ventilation through the fifth wheeler is very advantageous. Excellent idea. Now I'd like to stress also, it's more like a house in the way you can move the furniture around. If you want this couch down the back where the rocker recliners are, we'll put it down there. And you can put the rocker recliners up here. If you want to move this table and chairs down there so you can enjoy the scenery out of the big back window, go right ahead. Put it down the back and change it around wherever you like. Very flexible. Before we go and have a look in the bedroom area up at the front, it's good if we stop and have a look at the control panel over here. Right next to the front door in this model, you're going to find this control panel. It tells us the level of water that's in our grey tank, our black tank or our fresh tank, simply by pressing whatever button we want. This shows me that the fresh tank is two thirds full. I can also push the battery one and it tells me the condition of my 12 volt battery. In the case of this test today, it's fully charged. The red button on the bottom here turns on our 12 volt pump. Now that brings it up to pressure. Whenever we turn a tap on or off, it will go on or off. Pretty simple. This one here turns the gas on for our hot water. The hot water is actually electric and gas. So if you're in the caravan park, you can use their power to heat your water. Or if you're free camping, no electricity, you can heat your water up with the gas. That will turn the gas hot water on. The buttons across here are for your slide out rooms. Now there's two slide outs in the living area of this model. There's the kitchen slide out and there's the lounge slide out with the couch and the dining suite in it. If I simply bring that one, if I hit it in, that slide out starts to come in. and out of course just like that so that's the point obviously where you used to bring your slides in for traveling or to put the slides out when you've come to the spot you want to camp coming down the wall you'll find these three are the light switches and then further down you'll find the fire extinguisher and next to it is a gas detector in america it's compulsory for the fifth wheelers to have a gas detector. It's similar to our smoke detector which the fifth wheeler also has and it lets off a beep, a similar sort of high pitched squeal if there's a gas leak. A really handy safety device. As we move up into the bedroom area we'll just stop and have a look at the controls here. These ones are for your heating and cooling. It's a standard style thermostat that you turn up and down to achieve the temperature that you want. A fan control, you can have it automatic or just manually on or off. And then you'll have cooling and heating. Now the cooling is ducted air conditioning through the roof and the heating 
is ducted in the floor. Now they're very effective. We found when we were travelling that although they're, a, I know they're a big compartment, but they really still are a confined space. Because they're well insulated, they heat up or cool down very quickly. This is a carbon monoxide detector. The American standards for safety are very good. So you've got the gas detector, the smoke detector, and a carbon monoxide detector. Really handy. Through this door here, you're going to find what everyone needs sooner or later is the toilet. Now, they're a little bit different to the toilet you'll have in your house, but the similar sort of thing. Obviously, you sit on it. Lift this up, a standard sort of toilet. The flushing operation is a little bit different. It's a foot operation on this particular model. If I push that lever there with my foot halfway, it'll fill the bowl with water. Then, once the bowl is full of water, I push it right to the floor and it empties it into the black tank. The next thing we come to in the fifth wheeler is the vanity unit. That's pretty standard, same as you'll find in a bathroom of a house. But underneath it, in this particular model, you'll find the electrical switchboard. We've got to do a lot of alterations to the electrical system of the fifth wheeler to meet Australian standards. As you can see from the switchboard, they have been replaced. The American one has been replaced with the Australian circuit breakers and the safety switch. This is the same as the safety switch you'll find in a house and it protects people from getting electric shock. It's really important. Next to it in here, you'll see all the automotive fuses. This is your 12 volt switchboard. Once again, all standard auto fuses you can buy at any shop. In behind here, in this particular model, you'll find we've installed two transformers. We retain the 110 volt appliances because if we were to replace them, with the 240 volt appliances, it would add about $10,000 to the price of your fifth wheeler. There's no trouble with operating through the transformer. All the electrical requirements that are needed to bring them up to Australian standards, it's right up our alley. We are an electrical contracting company as well. All these electrical items, right up our alley. We love it. We actually rewire the whole fifth wheeler take out the American solid cable and install Australian stranded cable. Just behind me here you're going to see the shower. There's plenty of room in there for cleaning yourself up. Standard sort of taps and a shower rose. All enclosed fiberglass plastic base. The shower. Up here in the bedroom area Obviously there's a good size bed and this one particular model has a bedroom slide out. This whole capsule here moves out with the head of the bed in it. The bedroom slide out models all have a front wardrobe, lots of hanging space and storage area in behind there. At the foot of the bed here you'll find plenty of drawers for storing clothes in, a bench top, a lot of people in this particular model choose to have their laptop computer or whatever, it's like a little desk in here. In the corner up here, there's also a compartment for another TV. Now a lot of people don't want a TV in the bedroom, and so they choose to get extra cupboard doors put on here so that they can have some more storage space. The cupboard doors are something we can organise for you here on site. That's generally what you'll find inside a fifth wheeler. Sure, they all vary from model to model, make to make, but the functions and the basics are all there. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour.